Good morning. I hope this finds you and all your loved ones well. Know that you are in our prayers. This is an unusual and unusually stressful time. Father Rich and I, along with the entire staff of St. Austin Parish and School, pray that you are well. Like all of you, we are learning to do things differently. That has sometimes been uncomfortable and stressful for all of us on staff, but we take strength from the knowledge that we are all doing this together. We're willing to cut each other some slack and give each other room to learn, make mistakes, and try different things. Holy Week is the summit of the liturgical year. Personally, for me, the high point of every year is the vigil. Others find Holy Thursday and the washing of feet as the most beautiful and moving service. Still others cherish the proclamation of the Passion from the Gospel of John and the humbling adoration of the cross, which speaks most to them. All three days of the Triduum are beautiful and moving. But as we move into Holy Week this year, things will be different. We are working very hard to make those sacred liturgies as meaningful as we can, as beautiful as we can. We offer these efforts to God as a prayer in action for our healing and for the comfort of those deep in worry and fear. To describe what that will look like over the next few days, Father Rich will tell you what we're planning. You can also find this information on our website at staustin.org. Here's what to expect, as we did this morning and have for a few weeks now. Tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we'll stream daily Mass live at 8 a.m. We'll celebrate the Mass of the Lord's Supper on Thursday evening at 7.30 p.m. That liturgy will be followed by exposition of the Blessed Sacrament, to permit you an additional half hour of reverence. On Friday, we'll air the Stations of the Cross at noon, and later that afternoon, the commemoration of the Lord's Passion at 3 p.m. On Saturday evening at 8 p.m., we'll observe the Easter Vigil, and on Sunday morning, we'll celebrate the Resurrection with Easter Sunday Mass at 8.45 a.m. You'll find these liturgies live on Facebook, we know that not everyone uses Facebook. Happily, we've been able to revive our YouTube channel just in the last day or two, so give us another day or so, but we're working on easy access to it from our website. Look for more details soon. Pray with us as we'll continue to advance our technology. I'm a pastor, not a videographer. Stay with us as we move through these days of uncertainty, knowing that we're praying with you and for you. Let us conclude with prayer. O Lord of life and love, in this time of uncertainty, of isolation, of sickness and even death, in defiance we dare to celebrate your complete and total victory over sin and death. You are our hope in times of difficulty and pain. You are our peace in the midst of worry and insecurity. You are our life now and for all eternity. Amen. Thank you for your attention. God bless.